What up everyone, Reach here for Animal Wire, and if sometimes it feels like you just can't catch a break, don't worry, you're not alone. The amber snail feels your pain. Mainly the ones infected with the parasitic flatworm, commonly known as a green-banded brood sac. The fate in store for these guys is a horrific one, and it involves the mutilation of their body and the manipulation of their mind, all for the sake of transporting their captor to its final avian host. And this is something that probably could have all been avoided if it wasn't for their careless habit of consuming bird poop. But hey, if you want to end up with parasite eggs in your stomach, that's how you get them. And these little bastards are indigestible, which means they're gonna hatch and mess you up. It's game over for the snail's eye stalks all swollen and green and pulsating. They've been pumped full of the parasite's larvae and are now mimicking tasty caterpillars which are the perfect treat to attract a hungry insectivorous bird. But no way in hell is the parasite gonna leave it to chance, and through mechanisms unknown, coerces the snail into overdrive to make a dash for the uppermost part of its surroundings. These are the types of places you absolutely want to avoid if you care not to be feasted on. And in spite of the snail's nocturnal lifestyle, it all happens during the peak of daylight. Now in this hellhole called reality, those caterpillary eyes eventually get torn from the snail's head by a winged predator, where inside its new host, the larvae can mature and start producing eggs of their own. And you guessed it, those eggs are dispersed once again through the bird's feces to continue the cycle anew. So many thanks to Denied Prophet for bringing this topic to light. And with that being said, yo dude, sweet creature.